Oh, that was super quick. Yeah, it was quick. That's never good. Yeah, um... I thought I had time to, like, drink some water, straighten my hair. Yeah. Do something. We're probably gonna have some little girlies. Yeah, the kids aren't in bed yet, so you guys will get that joy. Mm-hmm. We're gonna give for, a couple minutes for yeah. people to, uh, um... Oh, I'm not supposed to lean forward again. Yeah. Well, it's just all of a sudden people get really close on Facebook Lives. If you've ever noticed on a Facebook Live, as people talk, they get closer and closer and closer. Okay, basically, this is the killing time till people jump on. Yeah. So, if you're watching this as a replay, just, you know, go in a couple minutes. Yeah, um, we might have some minutes. little girls pop around here. I'm actually like Amazon, they're not in bed yet, so, um, fair warning, um, they might be popping over. Uh, so, we Wait. have a lot of stuff in front of us. Um, we probably won't talk about everything that's in front of us, but we want to make sure everything's on hand, so. So, yeah. So, if people have questions as we go, hopefully we have what you need. Yeah. If not, one of us will leave the room and come back. Yeah, or we're going to talk mostly, um, we're going to talk about the stuff we have. Not, mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to really go and dive into stuff we don't have because we really can't talk about it because I don't know anything about it. So. That's kind of how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How much time should we kill? It feels like it goes really fast. Um, it goes slow right now. I feel like it's going really slow right now. Right now. Okay, you want to go ahead and do the... Yeah. Oh, I'll, I can start with the disclaimer. Go right ahead. I posted the disclaimer, but in case you haven't noticed, I am not a medical doctor, nor is he. Um, mm -hmm. Not even kind of. So we will not be talking about... Please don't shake the table. I'm I will be table. talking about that. Um... We don't talk about diseases, ailments, symptoms, um, curing, preventing. Um, this is really just how we use the oils to enjoy our life, make it a little better. Yeah, and I mean, and you know, the oils are, they support your body in a lot of ways, and they smell great, and there's a lot of ways you can use them. That's what we're going to talk about mostly. We're going to break it up based off of talk about some systems, some body systems, and, you know, talk about some oils right after each system, um, go over some, a couple of oils in the kit, and then we're going to branch off to stuff outside the kit. So for you that, that have kits, you're looking for oils like those or products like those that kind of do the same thing, um, we'll hopefully find some, or have some stuff to give you guys some ideas of what to get, um, because there's a lot of great products that Young Living offers, and it's not just, obviously we love the kit. Um, you know, we talk all the time that we have bought the oils that are in the kit multiple times. And I think every oil in the kit we've bought at least twice in the last nine months. So, um, you can, I, we can vouch that, uh, you use the kit, you lose those oils a lot. So, yeah, yeah. it's definitely Young Living did a good job when they put it together. Mm -hmm. It's well thought out on, um, the most used and most popular oils. So, Yeah. This is the pretty little stand that comes with the kit. So you'll see lots of these tonight, but I just wanted to show that really quick. Yep. All right, so we'll just jump right in. Um, one of the reasons we started with the oils was to uh, support my immune system. Um, your immune system, of course, is what fights the bad, um, the outside stuff. So that's kind of where we started, and we really stuck there for about a year before we realized that oils work and we wanted to uh, really dig in so um, sorry there's a little one crawling around hello. so hi. okay hello yeah so we started um, using Young, Young Living um, exclusively in February, February of 2016 yeah. and um, uh, we like the seed to seal we like their product guarantees um and so yeah we really stuck with them and we really fell in love with their product and so now we have uh young living products everywhere in our house yeah so. it's it's really we've switched out a lot but anyway back to the immune system you got off track already yeah. uh okay can I, can I get started here yes sorry. all right so thieves comes thieves vitality I'm sorry, I know it's all backwards. One day we'll invest in a camera that it won't be backwards for you guys. Thieves Vitality is one that I put in my coffee every day. Um, I've also made capsules with it and frankincense vitality and oregano vitality. 
uh, to support the immune system. So um, I do make those into capsules. So obviously some great ones right from your kit um, since it comes with the Thieves Vitality. We love it. Um, it's a must have. We also have, of course, the Thieves in the uh, topical and aromatic as well. We diffuse it a few times a week. Um, on this, I also put it into uh, hand soaps and pretty much everything. We roll it on the kids' feet um, every day. It's kind of our everyday roller. Um, feet. Yeah, we rotate because I had read somewhere, and people that have used oils longer than me may know better, but I had read that your body, if you put the same oil on the same body part every single day, at some point you your skin can become sensitive to it. So I rotate where I put it. Um, but yeah, so um, a couple great things right there. Um, your kit does also come with frankincense. Uh, frankincense is amazing. We'll talk about it a little later um, in more detail, but it's another one that is great to diffuse if you have it in the vitality great for capsules as well um, I did switch up because the vitality labels are all these white labels and sometimes when I don't have my coffee I mess things up so there was one day I drank some frankincense coffee um, which was not what I was expecting thieves has a uh, cinnamon bark in it so it's kind of more of a baking taste to the Thieves Vitality anyway. Frankincense does not. So there's a little tidbit for you. Anyway, sorry. It was interesting. Frankincense smells amazing. I love it in the diffuser. Um, uh, <coughs> it's my personal favorite. I don't think I want to in ingest it. I, I like it in the capsules, the Frankincense Vitality yeah. capsules. Yeah, in mm -hmm. fact, um, the founder um, puts frankincense in a capsule. He takes it every day. Yep. Well, I mean, oh. if you were the founder of Young Living, you'd drink a bottle of Frankincense Vitality every day just because you can. But bathe in rose oil. Yep. Um, Moving on. Sorry, so yeah. we have notes. Yeah, we do have notes. Um, so outside of the... That's the stuff in the kit, and there's also some great products outside the kit that I really recommend for people. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, this one right here, um, which you'll see us talk about a lot. It's, it's the Thieves Cleaner. Um, it is a small bottle, but it's concentrated. You use one cap in a 32 ounce bottle. Have it right bottle. there. Yeah. Right He's going to grab it. See, we're somewhat prepared. We use one cap of this and put it in here for the rest of water. This makes general purpose cleaner, and we use it for everything. And um, In fact, when we started doing it, we did a ditch and switch, um, and uh, basically... We didn't just throw away all of our most of our products. We kind of used them all, and then once we ran out of it, we just never replaced it, and we replaced it with the Thieves Cleaner. It is amazing. It's all natural. I mean, technically speaking, um, there's no poison control in the back of it for a reason because you could actually drink this. It'd be really gross. It wouldn't taste very good, but you could actually drink it and not get not have to call poison control because it's chemicals because that's what chemicals are, but it's non-toxic chemicals. So we really recommend it. Um, there are other di dilution rates. If you want to do like a degreaser, you can add a little more in there and stuff like that. We use it for pretty much everything. In fact, I take that back. We do use it for everything. Yep. Um, we use it on glass, on stovetops, on our stainless steel, on our vinyl, mm -hmm. on cabinets, on walls. Yep. And in fact, you can, you can, um, we... We'll have to find the video, but we've seen it before where people have done bacteria tests with those bacteria strips that restaurants use, and they had, I think it was raw chicken on the, on the table, and they used a thieves cleaner, and it got all the bacteria off the table, so yeah. it's effective, too, and it's cheaper. Um, it's a one, you know, it's just over $20 for this bottle, but it makes over 40 general purpose bottles, 40 of these. So it breaks down to about 55 cents a bottle of cleaner, which is, um, I don't know if you can go to the grocery store lately, it's, it's a, that's really cheap. Yes, really cheap. I use it on my toilet bowl as well. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a little um, stronger one I use on the inside of the toilet bowl. Um, it's one cap full with 16 ounces of water, but I do that. Um, I also will make a paste, like if I haven't cleaned in a while, <laughs> um, I'll make a paste with some baking soda and I just put a cap full of the Thieves Cleaner in like a cup of baking soda. And that works similar to like the Comet Cleaners where it's going to, the baking soda acts as that scrub that really gets the um, 
any of the built up stuff too. So, um, but I just sprayed on the inside of the toilet bowl, um, with the stronger, um, with the stronger ratio one. So yeah, I definitely use it. But, uh, when I go into the bathroom to clean, I take this and then my one stronger one and I'm able to clean the whole bathroom versus before I had four or five different cleaners and I had to leave the room several times because, um, the smell of bleach. Yeah, so. I like the smell of bleach. She used, to use, she used to use it a lot, and now I'm okay with not using it. I like the smell of, the, of this better. Mm -hmm. So um, there's also some oils that we uh, recommend as well that uh, um, do the same things as like the thieves, and, uh, and it's uh, clove and oregano. You'll hear oregano a lot. A lot of people put this into capsules and take mm -hmm. this internally, and it's uh, it's great. Um, you know, I actually have a chili recipe posted that I use oregano on with some basil and, and thyme, which are all essential oils, the vitality oils. So mm -hmm. it's really good, but this is great. Um, like I said, it does the same things that, that these will do for you. And clove is also another one. And clove you'll actually find in um, Thieves. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of the oils in the Thieves blend. And so, uh, I'm, I'm right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right. Good. See? Yeah. Look at look at that. I was so, double checking. So yeah, there's a reason why it's in there. So yeah, this is a great um yeah, the uh yeah, carry oil in the capsules uh is obviously yeah. you take the oil, you put like one drop into a capsule and then you add your um uh, carry oil, whichever it is that I know a young living comes up with a V eight, uh carry oil V six. Yeah. What's it called? V six? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But um I actually when I was doing mine, which I don't have the Frank Vitality on me right now, but I was doing Thieves, Oregano, and Frankincense Vitality, two drops each, and then I was filling the rest with olive oil, just because it's handy, it's um, a little cheaper, and taking that, and I did that, um, like when the girls went back to school after their fall break, um, just to support my immune system, so that was definitely a great capsule and I made one for Ava too. My youngest doesn't take capsules yet so that's um, that's a little bit of a challenge but um, with Ava she does so I just did one drop of each with her um, in a capsule and we did that for a few days. Yep so um, and Anna yeah uh, the Vitality line is the one you ingest. Uh, uh, you'll see that basically the thieves right here this is labeled as do not ingest yeah, that's labeled for topical and aromatic. This is labeled the vitality are all the ingestibles. Um, Which the, is why in the yeah, kit you get five You, you do ones. get five vitality ones. And they just expanded the vitality line, which is awesome as well. Um, but we, um, we've we started kind of using it more in cooking. Uh, so that's nice that they expanded it out right as we started doing that a little bit more. So... We're, we're trying to work it in even more. And if you're local, I'm going to make the chili soon again. I love, I love using the oils in the chili. It worked out really good. Um, and I'm going to make it soon because I have to make it. Yeah. Soon, cause it's going to start getting cold outside. Eventually it's going to get cold yeah. outside. So quick side note on why there's the two different labels. The FDA does require, um, for essential oils companies, they have to label it either topical or dietary. They cannot have one label that has both. Um, that was a change in the last two years. Um, so that is why you'll see both labels um, because you can't have things labeled as both anymore. And I definitely understand that. We don't want people going to the grocery store and going, oh, Amy said that I can ingest um, lavender essential oil and grabbing it and taking a swig and getting sick because it's not therapeutic grade, it's not pure, um, and it's not labeled for it. So you do want to, there is an importance to it. And I know we can get frustrated sometimes with, um, government regulations on different things, but it is important because we, we don't want somebody to take the information that we say and to use that with oils that they grab from somewhere else. I can't speak for those oils. I can only speak for Young Living and how the oils are labeled. Yeah, well, okay. which is one of the reasons why we like Young Living. Um, Sorry, I should have said that in the disclaimer. It's seed to seal. We like the fact that we know where these oils came from. We know where the farms are. Um, in fact, next summer we're going to visit two 
the Clary Sage farm fields and the lavender fields. I believe so. And get plenty of pictures because it'd be a lot of fun um, to do it. So, so yeah. Uh, and moving on, one of the other systems that we're going to talk about uh, briefly is respiratory system. Uh, uh, it's one of those support systems that you always want to take care of, especially in the winter months. And um, you know, basically, if you want to know what the respiratory system is, take a breath. Everywhere you feel that air go in is your respiratory system, and um, it's important to support that. You know, one of the things they talk about is, and you know, one of the oils we're going to really focus on is the peppermint. Um, you'll see a vitality. Um, they actually have the vitality line of peppermint and the non. So, like, this is the, this is the topical one or the aromatic one. Um, in fact, you made a diffuser blend with this in it today. Peppermint spearmint wintergreen. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. It was great. That's yes. a great wake up one. Yeah, I think as I'm empty. weaning myself off of coffee, that's going to happen a lot. Yeah. Sorry. And then the uh, uh, Vitality is obviously the ingestible one. Um, if you really want to know about somebody who likes to ingest the peppermint Vitality, she's sitting right next to me. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know, is, is it in there right now? No, because I just put a drop in my mouth. Okay, so there you go. But she actually uses this instead of mints. I'm going to talk for you. On okay. It. And she does. She'll, you know, only one drop though. She's done two before, and she regretted it. It was a little too powerful. It so, clears you. Yeah. It, you know, That's so. some respiratory support right there. Yeah. It really clears you up. It really gets you going. Another one um, that we will talk about, too, which is currently in the kit, and I say currently because I haven't heard different, but it might leave the kit soon. But either way, you're still going to want it. We'll keep you updated. Is RC. Um, let, let you know how much we love RC. I think we have four or five bottles on hand right now of RC and they just switched this out so now if you buy it um, it's only a, it comes in a 15 milliliter which is actually pretty exciting because we have a bunch of five milliliter bottles you know if we have five bottles that we'll, we could have two and have as much on there which would be nice um, I actually put this on my feet when I go to bed um, uh, we use it topically I will also do not ingest RC um, yeah it's and, not labeled for ingestion yes and then we also put it in the diffuser um, it helps me uh, I, I, I sleep better when I do it um, and she likes it when it's I very sleep. refreshing mm -hmm. it's a very refreshing scent um, it's very crisp mm -hmm. um, so like I'll rub it on my chest sometimes or Ava rubs it on her chest too yeah. um, Adeline pretty much sticks with lemon all the time but um, Ava and I both like to use it on our chest yeah from time to time. So yeah, so uh, it's a it's a very good oil. I would say it's probably our top three oils that we use. More, mm -hmm. I mean, I, outside of your obsession with peppermint, I, I think <laughs> RC is probably second. And it's yeah. an obsession. It's crazy the amount of peppermint she uses. Yeah, it is. But you know, I can, so I will. Mm -hmm. um, so some things that are outside the kit. Um, that kind of fit in here best. Um, first of all, for some more respiratory support, Thieves Cough Drops. I know these are shock value when you first look at the price, but instead of, there's 30 cough drops in a bag, and instead of using a bag of cough drops a day, um, I was able to get away with juice using three or four. So I know I talked about that in our ER video, um, but it does have menthol in it. Um, I believe it says on here, yeah, it says it relieves coughs, soothes sore throats, and cools nasal passages. So it really does help to open you up, which is a great thing. Um, definitely something you want this time of year on hand. Um, but as far as some other oils we use, uh, we do use Raven. Uh, Raven is a little bit more of a menthol type scent to me than the RC. The RC is more of a crisp scent. It's got a lot of eucalyptus in it. Um, the Raven though, I do like to diffuse just a couple drops. It's a little stronger. Um, and so when I apply it topically, I actually do put it in carrier. You wouldn't have to, um, but I do because I feel like it goes a long way. So, um, definitely another one we like. And then I can't find my other roller here. Breathe again. This is handy for your purse. Just throw it in your purse, you're ready to go. It's got the roller top already on it. This is how it comes from Young Living. Um, so I will just rub this directly under my nose, like if I'm about to go to a public restroom, because ew. Um, so that I can smell that, or I'll rub it on my chest or up my neck. Um, it's just got that really refreshing scent, kind of like the RC. So um, another one, we recommend keeping on hand.
Yeah. In fact, um, I heard a person who does who works out a lot in the mornings. He would apply the breathe again roller before he worked out to mm-hmm. help him, you know, breathe as he went, and he he could actually he enjoyed it. I mean, you could tell he well, was yeah. really loving it, and I, I mean, now he talks very highly of it. I was pretty surprised. Yeah, it's definitely a great one. And then eucalyptus. Um, if you look on the website for eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, if I can tell, blah, 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 blah. Um, If you look on the Young Living website, it will say that this is uh, good for your respiratory system. I mean, that's something that is uh, pretty well known. I double-checked it today. Don't worry. Um, But we have eucalyptus globulus and eucalyptus blue. Um, So we have two of them. Um, Eucalyptus globulus, I actually diffused this today on my way to work with some lime. Amazing. Very refreshing scent. It was great. Um, it's also good citrus fresh. We've done fast yeah. too. A lot of citrus oils are going to go with eucalyptus. Eucalyptus blue kind of smells like cat pee to me. It's a pretty potent smell. It's it's um it is it's eucalyptus times a hundred. Really, I mean, basically, for those of you who I think eucalyptus is 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 a, is a smell you either love it or or leave it. No. Yeah. I mean, people don't. It's one or the other. Um, and I think that, like, she's not a huge fan of this smell of eucalyptus. So, globulus works good for her. But she's not a huge fan of it. This is painful for her. It's very potent. Um, I use this a lot in the shower when, you know, uh, when it's days when I want some extra support. Um, I'll, I'll get the shower nice and hot. And I'll just take two drops and just drop it on the shower floor. And it just fills the whole, it's the like whole a shower spot. with um, eucalyptus. It's crazy. I uh, really... I. I mean, it clears everything out. It's, yeah. It's definitely respiratory support. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, it's a spa-like scent yeah. when you do that. I don't mind it that way. I've done it in some bath salts, too. Same thing. It's it's very spa-ish yeah. when you do that. So. But smell it straight out of the bottle, and it, uh, it it's pretty overpowering. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so chugging right along here. Um, so muscular and skeletal support. See, the next couple sections, we have a few more things. So we kind of hurried through these first few because we've talked about them so much. Um, obviously, your bones and muscles. I think we all know what your skeleton system is, your muscles, all that. So we're good there. Um, one thing that comes in the kit that's great is Copaiba Vitality. You can take it in a capsule. You can make a wellness tea with it. Um, it is great joint support. So um, that's one that I definitely recommend keeping on hand. Sorry, the girls just walked in here. They're wanting snacks. They always want snacks. Yeah, Kids eat a lot. And because we're on the video, they know we can get away with it. So we're not going to yell at them right now. Oh, but I'll keep tabs. I will keep tabs. It is great. Okay, anyway, I got off track already. Um... <laughs> Also, some things I like to do, um, peppermint is great. Uh, I'll put it with um, a carrier and rub it on after a long day, um, like on my feet or on the back of my neck. Um, It has a cooling sensation, which is really nice. Um, So, you know, just take a drop or two and rub it on and it it has that cooling sensation, which I love. Um, So you do have that. You have Panaway, which Panaway has helichrysum in it as well. I always forget which one. Okay. Uh, and wintergreen. Yeah, it has wintergreen, clove, peppermint, and helichrysum. I think it's helichrysum. Okay, so you've got a few different ones um, that have that cooling sensation. Um, the helichrysum is just an awesome oil. It, it helps give it a really refreshing scent too. Um, and then the clove as well. So... Um, this one I most often, Panway, I would say we use most with our youngest, and I just make um, a little massage oil for her, which is some coconut oil, and I don't measure, I probably should do better about measuring, um, but I'll just put like half a table, or half a teaspoon rather, of coconut oil in my hand, a few drops of peppermint, rub it together, and I'll give her a little leg massage. She loves that at the end of the day. So kids play hard, so they like massages too. Um, so another good one. Yeah, and helichrysum's a good read. Um, if you guys want to know why they added it in Panaway, take a, take a Google, take a trip to Google, and give it a good read. Yeah, it's a great one. Um, frankincense again. 
Frankincense is kind of like lavender in the sense that we, we tried to leave lavender out of most of this just because we talk about it so much. But frankincense is really similar in the, I'm not sure what to use, so frankincense it is. Um, so that's, yeah, that's frankincense. Yes, Anna, we recommend uh, um, Panaway. Yes. To uh, give uh, your little ones a massage. They will thank you for it. Well, Anna, you can't because it has peppermint in it. So you have to make Ryan do it because Panaway... Um, or peppermint can actually affect milk supply. So that's something that you want to use very sparingly okay. during that time of life. Let me reframe. Send them over. I'll give them a little like massage. Yeah. And then Ryan. Not in a it. creepy way. Anywho. Okay. Actually, <laughs> She's my neighbor and I like her son. He's Best. so cute. But it came out really no, creepy. You like him in a he's a nice boy neighbor. Kid. Adeline's getting more food. She's got a can oh of peanuts goodness. in her hand and a juice box. Oh my gosh. I mean, whatever. Okay. Could be work. She's eating peanuts. Oh, uh, yeah, juice box. that's true. Okay. Um, so. Okay. So, what are you talking oh, oh, you're moving on. So, now we, we oh, talked about the. the we talked about the oils in the kit, um, you know, but there's a lot of products that are outside the kit. And this is one of the categories. One, there's two major categories. You're gonna find a lot of products outside the kit that kind of run the same way that Panaway does and Cop and Copaiba is. And it's and I googled it, Nicole. It's Copaiba, not Copaiba. If you trans have Google read it to you, it says Copaiba. Just saying, what Google says is fact. If Google Whatever. literally says it. If you say it with confidence, it's right. Sure, Ava. Yes, yeah. you okay. can have the snack. So. Um, <laughs> What's great about this, I'm going to talk about oil real quick, and then we'll move outside of the oils and go to some other products that, uh, that uh, Young Living has that really will help you in this area. First of all, I'll talk about Deep Relief. Um, it's there. we got a Deep know. Relief roller, and you'll also, this is I use topically. I rub it on my back a lot because, well. It's it, relaxing. Yeah, it's relaxing, and it does give that cool sensation. Um, which is very nice. Um, it's got the wintergreen on there, which is, you know, the natural menthol, um, which is great. Um, wintergreen's right here is a natural menthol. Natural menthol. Methyl salicylate. Whatever. Peppermint's the menthol. Oh, oh thank you. Methyl. It's natural methyl something or something. Salicylate. This is actually the one that you do aromatically. It's actually a very good scent. Um, it does very good. We also will put this one into creams. We'll add some coconut oil into this. Um, now, I haven't seen Deep Relief for sale outside the rollers other than the Active and Fit Kit. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping they're going to add that in if they do get rid of the Active and Fit Kit. But yeah, we're it's in, a good kit. We're, we're not sure what's going to happen because one of the things in the Active Fit Kit is the RC, the 5 million RC, which they don't sell anymore. So we don't know if they're going to just keep it for that kit or if they're going to change it out. But the Active and Fit Kit is amazing um, get it so, while you can yeah it, it's really good um in fact you'll see a lot of products that i'm about to talk about another product is no, sorry, not a lot. another product we're going to talk about is in the kit um which is the only reason why we have it so um this also deep relief put on some bath salts um and uh let's just say i didn't last very long that night no if i did it um within about 30 minutes i went to bed it's not very good that night okay um other products Product, product, not. We're going to leave the oils for a bit and go over some stuff. Speaking of massages, mm. Orthosport massage gel, or massage oil. Um, one thing, this is great. We use this not just with the deep relief. You add a little deep relief or pan away to it. Um, we also do massages with some of the emotional oils um, as well. So it's it's a great oil and it uses, we use, a, we use it all the time. Um, one thing is you got to walk to when you squirt it because when you squirt it, it shoots out like crazy. So yeah. be careful. Um, but it's great to use as a carrier um, mm -hmm. for rollers and stuff too. Yeah. One thing is, um, as of right now, I know that Young Living's working to take almond oil out of um, a lot of their products. But almond oil is one of the bases in here. So I definitely keep that in mind if there are any um, tree nut allergies in your house. Yeah. Um, We'll always try to be completely transparent with that. We don't want you getting anything yeah. you're not going to be able to use. Yeah, please let us know if you want to get something that has a carry oil in it because that's this is not the only one that has almond oil in it. There's another one out there as well. Um, 
No sad face. No, we can make almost the exact same thing for you with coconut oil. Yeah. So I do have all of the oils that this Orthosport massage oil has in it. Um, it has peppermint, oregano, vetiver, lemongrass, and thyme, which I have all of those. So I can make it with coconut oil. Yeah, well, so. we have workarounds. If there's something that you mm -hmm. can't take because of an allergy, we have ways to figure out how to, we will literally do a chemistry lab experiment and figure out a way to make it for you. Um, it's but kind I'd of fun. But I'd rather be it's up front than yeah. you order something and go, oh, great, it has almond oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, it felt great. And then all of a sudden my back swelled up and then I go to the hospital and yeah, spend $500 on an EpiPen. So, it's so yeah. It's not that cheap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> EpiPen for $500. I don't know where he's getting it. Yeah, And one of the products I take every day, Power Dries, I take two of these a day. Um, I've been taking them for a couple months now. Um, and actually, it helps with energy. It's, it's great. Um, it really does. Uh, I, especially because I've cut morning coffee out. Um, I know, it's huge. Yeah. For those of you that it, have known us for a long time, so like Valerie just jumped on here, she'll be amazed by that. He is no longer getting Starbucks in the morning. My budget is about to be freed up of so much money. Young Living's about to make a lot more off of me. <laughs> yeah, I made a deal that if the election went a certain way, it was no Starbucks in the morning. And I'm... He's sticking I'm with it. I'm following through on my, uh, on my deal. So yeah. so, yeah. So, yeah, I take this every morning. Um, I, I take it basically right when I start working. It, it's great. It it, uh, it really gives me energy. And it is a muscle support mm -hmm. supplement. Yep. Speak, so. Speaking of muscle support, um, you'll see uh, we have two cool Azules. I'm going to talk about this one first. This is the one that comes in the Active and Fit kit. Um, this is a sports gel. It's great. It, it gives you that cooling sensation. Um, basically, I put this on my back when I need it more immediate than the Deep Relief Roller. Um, and it, you can, you can feel it. It's got, you know, it gives that cooling sensation right away and, uh, it's, it's great. Um, it comes in the active and fit kit. Um, like I said, once again, we recommend if you want stuff like this to get the active and fit kit. It, it just, see, people are shocked by your coffee. Yeah. I know. Don't worry. He's still, he's still going to see Starbucks several times a week, just not two to three times a day anymore. No, I only get it if she gets it. So, so not nearly as much. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I recommend the Active Fit Kit. This is one thing to get. That it's well worth the money. This is awesome. In fact, um, this right here is a pain cream. It's a. It's literally can be called a pain relief cream. Um, it has been tested and it has been FDA has approved it as that. It's not FDA approved. It's listed with the FDA okay. as an over the counter. Thank you. It is an important distinction because I don't want people thinking like it went through an FDA testing process to get approved as a drug. Um, there is a difference when you go to Walgreens or CVS or anything. If something is an over is listed as over the counter with the FDA, it is different than getting FDA approval. So, <laughs> sorry, that's my research no, brain. I'm not complaining. That's <laughs> why she's here, right? Only for that. You keep me. You keep me straight. That's right. That's what Mary did for. Go ahead. All right. Talk about pain cream. Okay. <laughs> this is a great cream. Um, it does give the same cooling sensation, um, and it will help you through aches and pains. Um, you know, personally, I like the cooling sensation from the gel better than the cream, but the cream is actually going to be there for it. So, yeah. Is it good for pain yes. associated with arthritis? Pain relief cream is good for pain associated with arthritis. Um, it says, let's see here. I don't know if it actually says on here. Yeah, it says, relief from minor muscle and joint aches, arthritis, strains, bruises, and sprains. It has the power of wintergreen and the exclusive Cool Azul blend while remaining free of synthetic ingredients. So, definitely a nice one. Does this have, pe this has peppermint in it. Mm -hmm. Does that have peppermint in it? Um, well, the Cool Azul blend, I believe, has peppermint. But, either way, it's got the methyl, salicylate, and the menthol, um, 2% of each, so it meets all the requirements to be listed as an over-the-counter pain cream. Um, so I will have to double check. It's going to be very diluted in the um, pain relief cream. And also I do know some people use fennel um, to offset any adverse peppermint 
effects on milk supply so I can get some fennel as well. Yeah, which we don't currently have fennel, but um I can get it. We're going to it's on our list. I'm going to be placing get. an order on Black Friday. I know it. I already know it. I don't know what the deals are, but I just know it's going to happen. Save that for later. Yeah. Black Friday. Um So yeah, I think I covered all of it, right? Am I missing yeah, something? I think we got I think we got it. Moving on. The next uh, you guys system we're talking about is oh we're doing a good time we got twenty five minutes and we have and we got the last one it's really the one we're gonna spend most of our time on um, digestive support uh, if you guys did not know the digestive support is your digestive system which means your stomach your intestines your liver liver kidneys kidneys everything that has to process your food is what digestive support is for one of the major oils we use all the time. Um, comes in the Vitality line, mm -hmm. is Digize. Digize has um, ginger in it and some other mixes that make it great for that support of your digestive system and makes it smell hideous. That smells hideous. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. Some people don't mind the scent of it. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So I wouldn't... Yeah, we don't diffuse it. Um, we use it topically. And we do put it in capsules. Yeah, the Vitality we put in capsules. Yeah. Uh, with the coconut, or coconut, with the um, olive oil. Now, we do it in the olive oil, you know, uh, basically we're like, uh oh, we ate too much, we better take it now. And uh, it's just to support the digestive system. Um, there are people that take it before every single meal. Um, I probably will take it a week from tomorrow before we sit down to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's really great, um, but as far as the regular digest, which I don't know where my bottle went of it, um, I made a roller for the kids with digest and peppermint um, that we rub on their belly as well. Yeah. Sorry. We make circle motions around their belly button, and um, it helps. They enjoy it. They're yeah. happy about it. Um, so, yeah, this is, yeah, I would recommend the capsule as a proactive Thanksgiving support. Mm-hmm. So. Digize is great. Yeah. And, I mean, we don't do the turkey. We do prime rib. But we still do all the fixings. I keep bragging because I I love our prime rib. Okay. Continue on. You're losing steam here. No. Okay. One of the other ones is peppermint. Uh, as you heard, she makes the roller with the digize and the peppermint as we roll it on there. Um, peppermint is known for helping out those areas. Um, and, you know... I. Drop a peppermint on the tongue after a meal. Mm -hmm. Or it's great. or if you're not feeling so good. Not you feeling can't so good. say that. No. He's gonna stop talking now. Well, okay, he's not gonna this? finish that thought. How about this? <coughs> Scratch I'm that. I'm so sorry, guys. Scratch that. When we go on long road trips, she's not a huge fan of them, especially when we go through hills. She drops peppermint in her mouth to get her through. It yep. makes her um, more pleasant in the car. Yep. And we don't have to pull over. Or pump air in her face. Okay. Anyway, so, moving on. There, is that better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the next one is lemon. Um, lemon is an oil like frankincense, like lavender. That You'll, you'll see a lot of uses for this. Um, it comes in all... Obviously, we have the... Uh, yes. put a Vitality. Did you, do you already have no, one in there? but... You can do it. Okay. Time. All you do. Um... Obviously, lemon is it's it it can be used in all in, in all types. We could have really talked about this one, like the frankincense and lavender, in a lot of the categories, um, for good reason. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great. I don't know much else to say except for the fact that if you guys have a kit, take your lemon, take your frankincense, put three in each in your diffuser, and enjoy the the, the smell. Yeah, it is hands down my favorite smell. But lemon <laughs> is great in water. Um, Help your liver out. So, lemon vitality in some water. See, even my cat's getting in on. My cat likes oils. It's the weirdest thing. Like, if I put thieves in my coffee, he, like, wants to be in my face. Which cats are supposed to be really sensitive to oils, so I don't know why he's so... Yeah. But and whatever. pay attention. Speaking of that, it's a good segue to talk about that. But if you guys have pets... Pay attention to what you're using. Talk to us about it. We've, we, we've done research on it. I say we. Research has been done about this in this house. Um, let us know. There's also a pet line that, that Young Living has. But, um, yeah, 
you want to watch certain oils to use, especially on cats, because some of the stuff doesn't do well with them. But the oils that we use in the house, he seems fine with it. He doesn't, you know, we always make sure we have an open door for him. If he doesn't like it, he can leave the room. And we basically tell him that. If you don't yeah. like it, leave. Yeah. We're goes. kind of mean like that. Oh, okay. So you get two Ningxia sample packs. Um, well, I mean, you can buy these separately too. Um, in your premium starter kit, I recommend putting them in the fridge right away. It The sample packs have two ounces. Um, I take one ounce every morning. It really supports overall wellness, but it's really great uh, for your digestive system. It has antioxidants in it. Um, which antioxidants fight free radicals, so you can kind of look more into that. Um, and in your digestive system, that's a great thing because so many things that um, can go not wrong but can just be a, off a little bit, need tweaked in our body, are controlled by our digestive system. Um, I try to do everything I can now to support it, but I've been taking an ounce of this every morning as I'm preparing myself to wean off of coffee. I don't have the Starbucks addiction, but I definitely have the all day long coffee addiction. So Her coffee addiction is worse than my Starbucks addiction. Yeah, but mine still doesn't cost nearly as much. No, so, uh, so anyway, so I've been doing an ounce a day um, and then Adeline takes half an ounce a day as to support her, uh, her body too. But this has way more benefits than just for your digestive system but it is one that I specifically made sure to get for that. Um, it's good for martini support as well. Martini support, that's a thing. We're going with it, because I agree. Mm -hmm. um, if I didn't agree, I would stop him there, because he probably shouldn't say that. Okay. Um, well, that's not a body system. I can totally say it supports your martinis. It does. That's There's no compliance risk in saying that. I it recommend- It supports the taste of the martini. If you're over the age of 21, or if you're 21. You can be 21. You don't have to be over 21. Yeah, if you're over the age of 20 and you turn 21, <laughs> I recommend putting in martinis, put in your martini mix. Yeah, so basically this is martini mix. One pouch. One pouch, a couple ounces of vodka, and some OJ. You're golden. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anywho. Okay, so some supplements that Young Living has that I uh, personally take. Um, digest and cleanse. Digest and cleanse can be used for daily support or you can use it as needed. Um, I did take it for daily support for a couple weeks, but I, um, I now just kind of have it on hand in case we need it again. Um, but it's great support, so it might come back out next week. Um, and then one I'm taking right now every day is the new Life 9 probiotic. Uh, they previously had Life 5, and I believe you can still get Life 5, but I got the Life 9. It's in the holiday catalog um, as well. Um, it has 17 billion active cultures in it, um, and obviously it has nine different strands of good bacteria uh, to put into your, into your digestive tract because you, you're going to have bad and you need good to balance that out. And if it gets out of balance, then you're not going to like your life very often. Gut health is very important. Yeah. So the probiotic I've been taking every day. I take it after dinner every night. Um, and then the goal was to take it every day for 30 days and then to start taking it. He's, he's clawing my chair. He's mad at me. Um, then I'll start taking it every other day. Um, and then the goal with this is that your body kind of works um, itself with with the help of the Life 9 um, to where you're only going to need it a few times a week. She just dropped some facts about the Digest and Cleanse. Yeah, the Digest and Cleanse, the capsules are a little strange. Um, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. So most everything looks like the veggie caps, which do you want to get my open bottle of Life 9 for me? So I don't know if you can see this. This is the Digest and Cleanse capsule. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, so it does stay together a little bit longer in your body. Um, it's like a jelly, like it doesn't- Looks like amber. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But then you have that compared to, if I can get it open. Life so. 9, once it's open, you do need to refrigerate it, by the way. Um, pay attention to your bottles. but. Anyway, so here's the capsule with the Life 9. Which looks like Power Dyes. Yeah, 
It's like, um, it kind of looks like the veggie caps we make. I don't actually know what type of capsule that is. I should probably look into that. Um, it, it's a delayed release capsule that allows the culture to bypass the stomach. So, um, versus, does it say what this one is? No, soft gels. Soft gels, delayed release capsule. So there you go. Great digestive support. Yeah. Ava, our oldest, says, uses digest, digest and cleanse. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so she's used it. We took it. It was a little easier to take with us um, on vacation. Well, it was on accident, but it worked out. I packed this uh, when we went to Florida this summer, um, and I forgot the digest. So, um, and she uses digest daily. Yeah, there's a theme, Ava, digest, digest cleanse. Yeah. It's been um, very helpful in our household. Yeah. With Ava. And so there are a few others that kind of go along here as far as um, how we use them. The Roma Ease, it is a little bit better top, um, the scent of it, so aromatically. So if you wanted to diffuse this in like a car diffuser on a long road trip, you definitely could do that. I don't mind the smell. It's very refreshing. Um, you can also apply it topically, just, you know, put it on your stomach after a big meal or something. Um, so those we, are a few as well. We highly recommend getting a car diffuser for road trips and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, car diffusers are amazing. I commute. So I think I'd be lost without my car diffuser. Um, Young Living has a travel diffuser. Uh, so they have the travel fan diffuser. They have the orb diffuser. Those would both work in the car. And then there's a USB diffuser. So if you're, um, if you have either an adapter or if you have a USB port in your car, you could use that as well. So a few different ways. Otherwise, if you don't have that yet, you're just starting out with oils, but you're like, you know, I do kind of want something in my car. What you're going to do is if I, oh, purification. You're going to go grab a cotton ball. You're, you're going to take purification. You're going to put a couple drops on the cotton ball and you're going to stick it in your vent. Yeah, uh, we had a minivan done i'm not ashamed to say it <coughs> not anymore we've had it for a while so i can get i'm over it um we use it for travel only now so it sits in the garage all the time so we uh so what i did was um i put about three cotton balls and put uh, purification on there and put them all the vents throughout there since it sits and i don't want it to get a musty smell and uh awesome. that i did what uh, did that like two 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 three months ago after our uh, last trip months ago and uh open the door and you can still smell it so it's, it's great um mm -hmm. in fact also if you have stuff um we used in fact in my car since i don't have a car diffuser um instead of cotton balls we used a um a baby hair clip with ribbons on it put those in the ribbons and then it sits mm -hmm. in the car and on the vents when i turn the fans on it it'll blow the oils as well so there are multiple uses get um you guys can get uh, inventive um, just something that'll soak up the oils, you can put it on there. So, so yeah. Yeah, so it definitely works out. And that's really great, too, if you're not going to be at home um, next week or if you, you know, don't have enough diffusers. I don't know. You can also, any type of leather bracelet, which I don't have my um, diffuser bracelet on right now. It's okay. Um, I took it off earlier. But um, if you have a leather necklace or a leather bracelet, you can rub the oil on that, and then that's your on-the-go diffuser. So if you're not at home, you don't have to ask somebody to diffuse something for you. You can just put it on. I look like a weirdo at work, but I don't really care. Hey, stay in tune. Stay tuned for the rest of this month because we have a diffuser bracelet that will be part of a giveaway. Yeah, it may or may not be given away on Black Friday. May or may not. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. So we still stay read. tuned. It's a great diffuser. Um, it's one she uses. Um, she loves it. We have one for a prize. So pay attention to that. Um, I just thought now. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. Purification is great for that. If you're at a hotel or renting or you get a new car and the fake fragrance that they put all over the car to make you think that it's all clean and then after a few weeks it runs out and now you realize that you just bought a pack a day smokers car yeah just purification in that car mm -hmm. we love it. okay anyway i got off topic again oh emotional support i love emotional support we've got to hustle up though well so. yeah this might go over 
a little bit because I don't want to, you know, we have a lot of oils to go over emotional support and it's the, it's a great category. So we're just going to get right in here. All right. This is not going to be crazy new knowledge for you guys. Number one, emotional support oil that you're going to get with your premium starter kit, lavender. It's calming. You can put it in bath salts. You can apply it topically. You can make a perfume out of it. You can make an air freshener out of it. You can diffuse it. You can chase your youngest around the house with a bottle and threaten them that I'm going to dump lavender on your head if you do not stop whining. Um, it works. So we're going to just... So it's not a big punishment, though, because lavender doesn't smell that bad. I don't know why she runs. Oh, it's it's a game. It becomes a game. Um, frankincense, which I don't have my regular... Have we regular... talked about frankincense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've talked about it a few times. Uh, frankincense is so grounding. Um, we diffuse it most with lemon, um, but it's also great with citrus fresh. There's a lot of blends. I actually like frankincense all by itself. Yeah, and depending on how you want the night to go, frankincense is a very calming, grounding scent. Um, if you mix it with something else, some can uplift, some can relax. So, uh, uh, you know, really watch what you do with it because mm -hmm. you, could, you could end up taking naps and not be prepared for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, Stress Away comes with the kit. It'll be a five milliliter. I don't know what happened to my five milliliter. It's in that box. Ew. Okay, anyway, um, Stress Away will come with your kit. As you can see, because I have the 15 milliliter, it's one I've used. Um, you get a roller fitment with your kit. So what I recommend you do, which if you want to diffuse it, by all means, but you can just pop off the plastic and put that roller fitment on, um, and then you can just apply it wherever you need it. Um, Stress Away smells great with lavender. At uh, We like that at bedtime. Uh, Stress Away and Frankincense. Stress Away and Lime is our oldest favorite. She loves Stress Away and Lime. And it does smell very beachy. So I like that too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything that reminds me of the beach. I think we called it our uh, tropical storm support this summer. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the post. Yeah, was it, that, that it was, was it. tropical storm support because we went to Florida uh, this past summer and uh, two of our days there there was a tropical storm. Thank you. At least it wasn't a hurricane. So um, And then this month Young Living is including Christmas spirit. So get you in the mood uh, For the holidays. It's got cinnamon orange and black spruce So definitely um, some grounding ones in there orange is very good emotionally um, I put orange with joy a lot. Um, I put orange with a lot of different ones. Cypress, which I know you're going to talk about cypress later. Um, so we do use um, orange a lot anyway, and it's in Christmas spirit, which smells like a little bottle of Christmas. You just open it up. Yep, that's the holidays right there. So um, another good emotional support. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of oils that do emotional support. I mean, I, I can't even, we can't talk about them all. There's just no way. We could do a full hour just on emotional support and the oils that are great to lift spirits and to calm things down and whatnot, you know. So we're going to just focus on some um, before we jump in that kit. I will. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is the citrus oils as a whole. Um, bergamot is one of the ones we use a lot um, in Citrus Fresh. Um, bergamot's an uplifting scent. Um, it smells great. You'll, you'll find that um, a lot of the posts that we'll do about you know blends that we'll make um, for the diffuser will include bergamot uh, for good reason because it is an uplifting smell. It mixes great with some of the other oils. All the citruses really do mix well. I've heard stress away in lime. Um, frankincense and lemon, frankincense and lime. Yeah. Uh, eucalyptus and Citrus Fresh, eucalyptus and bergamot. You'll find that it's, uh, we always recommend keeping citrus oils on hand because they are great mixers with some of the other stuff. Especially, like I said, the, the eucalyptus can be kind of potent by itself, but the mixing with citrus fresh or bergamot or another citrus oil will really cut that out and make it a much um, softer smell throughout the house and give you the same things eucalyptus still gives you and the benefits of the citrus oil. You're talking really fast. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm excited about the feelings kit. Okay, so beginning of last month, 
we finally gave in and used our ER points to some get of some of them, a lot of them, but we have a lot. So um, we use our ER points to get the feelings kit. Um, the feelings kit um, comes with six oils. Um, the feelings kit um, is a plethora of feelings that it will support. Um, it, whether you want to um, kind of let your emotions out, whether you want to keep them in, whether you want... There's not really one for keeping them in, just keep them elevated. Elevated, yeah. Um, to focus on um, on today, to, you know, focus on fun, to... Um, there's one called forgiveness, and so I think that pretty much explains what forgiveness is. Um, so, um, there's ones about, you know, if you have, you know, um, Valor. What's Valor for? What's Valor? Valor is bravery. Bravery. Oh Thank my goodness, you. he's never going to remember that. I but then never. he always wants to talk about the feelings kit. I'm not allowed you know, to talk about the feelings kit. Talk about it. I was a little sad that you're not going to do these, so go ahead. Tell me. Tell me about it. Well, you're like rifling them off. I... The thing that I like about the feelings kit is they're really named for what they're for. I mean, inner child, obviously that's not to like whine and cry, I don't think. Um, release and forgiveness are very powerful. At least they were to me. Um, me too. So go slow with them. Don't like dump a full bunch and try to like do a full body massage that would be a mistake because nobody in this house would ever do that yeah feelings kit with the ortho sport but do one drop yeah um so it it really was a great kit for our money um obviously we don't have to use the oils every day that are in the kit um but it's nice to have them for when we do feel we need them if it's you know, just something where, like, harmony. I'll diffuse that in the car on my way home or, like, when we first get home and everybody's going crazy. Um, see, forgiveness was the one, Nicole, that really, when I first, it, like, almost threw me off balance. I was like, and I tried it again the next night just to see if it really was the oil or if it was something I ate because it was that powerful to me. So I... I found the balance, and now I'm good with it. Yeah, mine was really, that's the one that really threw me for a loop. I was surprised. Very, all smells so amazing. Very surprised. Um, now there's, you know, outside of the, of, the, of the feelings kit, there's a lot of oils, like I said a second ago. Um, oh my goodness. There's so many out there. One of the ones I want to talk about is Peace and Calming 2. Um, and the reason why there's Peace and Calming 2 is because Peace and Calming is not available yet. Right now. Um, hopefully it will be soon. And the reason why it's not available is because one of the oils in the Peace and Calming, um, they currently cannot make because they don't have the crops for it. And one thing about Young Living is if they don't have the crops for it, they just discontinue until they get the crops back. Um, because their product, they're so, the seed to seal is so important to them, they're not going to sit there and waste it by going outside and getting a third party product. They're going to make sure and use it their own so they know exactly where it came from. So, um, so they made Pizza and Calming 2 to replace it. And another one is Valor 2 is the same way because they lost, uh, uh, is it both Blue Tansy? And both I, I think, I don't know for Pizza sure. and Calming is Blue Tansy. Things. Um, but, uh, we have Pizza and Calming 2. Um, I like it we, a lot. Yeah, we like it a lot. And if, I mean, when we first got the kit, it came with sample packs for Pizza and Calming and we loved it. We loved that Pizza and Calming sample. But now we're getting to the point where we're using Peace of Comic 2 so much, I almost like this more. Yeah, it's and, uh, the tangerine is definitely um, more potent in the Peace and Calming 2, in my opinion. Um, but I really like that, and it blends well with like orange and things that uh, the kids want to add to it. Yeah. So the last oil we're going to discuss is somewhere on here. I found this hidden behind the power dies. Cypress. We use Cypress a lot. It's my youngest, our youngest, um, Adeline's. I had a part in her, too. Yeah. <laughs> she birthed her. I did. Uh, I was the incubator. Mm -hmm. I was just a donor. Um, <laughs> the Cypress is her favorite oil. Um, she likes it all the time. In fact, she has a Cypress roller we made for her in her backpack, Cypress and Lemon, that she keeps with her um, when she goes to school. Um, we also diffuse it. Mm -hmm. um, in her room at night. Is it Cypress and what? what orange. It? Cypress and orange at night. Who we mix it with. She loves it. Um, it, it. It keeps her surprisingly calm. Um, it, you know, like I said, obviously, because we use it at night when she goes to sleep, so she likes it that much. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, yeah, we love this oil. Um, we use it all the time. I mean, in fact, um, Cypress 
there's a lot of oils from Young Living that are Cypress in nature. Hinoki is Japanese Cypress. There's a Hawaiian Cypress. What's the other mm, one I was looking at? You're thinking of Hawaiian Sandalwood. No, but there's another Blue one. Cypress. Yeah, but there's another one that has a funky name to it, and it's a Cypress. I was like, oh, cool, I gotta try that one out. No idea. Yeah. I just, it was one of the names I like to pronounce, but I forgot it, obviously, so it meant a lot to me. So, okay, so uh, we have gone through a ton, a ton of stuff. Um, so please ask questions if you have them. Um, you know, we, you know, I know we went through a lot of stuff. We wanted to give you guys an idea of, of just some of the stuff that's out there. And that Young Living isn't just, you know, a premium starter kit. There's not just 11 oils that they have. Um, there are... But it is a great place yeah, to start. There is a lot of stuff. Yeah. The premium starter kit is the starting point. It's, it's uh, you know, you hear people call it the toolbox. You hear a lot of names people call it. And it's because it's a great starting point. It gives you a sense, a, a touch of a little of everything that Young Living has to, ha, has to offer. And um, like what we did, we started with that kit and we branched out from there. And now we have gone oil crazy. I mean, just looking around, we have oils everywhere but right now. we still go back to these mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A I mean, lot. Uh, one of the ER rewards was frankincense. We got excited about that. Mm-hmm. And, of course, sacred frankincense was the ultimate ER, which we got really excited about. But frankincense was there, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is, we use purification all the time. We use frankincense all the time, RC all the time. You know, diegize. Peppermint, Thieves, you know, those are in the kit, and we use those probably more than anything else specifically outside, but we still use everything else. There's a reason why all these bottles are open, because we, we use them, every single one. The only ones that aren't. This is our handy-dandy kit, so if you're in Kansas City, you want to get a kit. Um, if you meet with us, we can let you take this kit home yep. and then just have the new kit shipped to us, so that way you don't have to wait on shipping, um, because... With Young Living, it is generally one to three days processing time after your order, and then however many days, uh, depending on the shipping uh, that you choose. Yeah, so we don't want you to have have, have to have you wait. If you're local and you want to buy a kit, let us come on over. We will, you can do the order process here, we'll talk you through it, walk you through everything it has in the kit, and then we will send you out with your kit. Yeah, and Nicole... um, just posted about a lot of people do buy the premium starter kits again um yeah we've done that um so it is such a good deal that sometimes you're going okay well i need to get i need to get frankincense and thieves and copaiba i might as well just get the kit and get another diffuser too to gift or um add in another room because who doesn't need another diffuser premium start gets 160 bucks um at the at the wholesale price it's over 200 for everything that you got the um, thing you it's get. closer to 300 yeah. at wholesale and then it retails well over 300 yeah so it's really the, i mean you cannot beat the deal that you get with the premium starter kit um, that's just why we always talk about it because we want you to get the most you can out of your money and we want you to be able to see the benefits and actually save money in the process you know, we generally, we have cut a lot of stuff out where we actually do save money um, by using oils. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't use candles anymore. Um, you know, uh, we don't, obviously, cleaning supplies. So, yeah, everything. I mean, mm-hmm. perfumes, um, lotions, yeah, uh, hand soaps, body soaps. So detergents, laundry detergent. Lots treatment. of things. Um and just overall, it's it's been a great thing. We've seen the benefit. Um, but obviously, if you do have questions, feel free to reach out to us. If someone else invited you to this class, reach out to them. Um, I mean, we'll answer questions as well. But if you're looking to uh, purchase something in particular, purchase some new oils, or get a kit for the first time, definitely get in touch with the person that invited you. Um, they obviously care about you, and they want you to learn as much as possible. We jump on to other people's classes all the time. We are constantly learning. I probably attend one to two Facebook classes a week just from um, people within the teams that we're a part of in Essential Families. Who probably invited you. Yeah, people that were in, yeah, were the ones that invited you to the class probably are ones that I learned from. Um, I also go to in-person classes when they're here in Kansas City. 
Um, so it's the education portion is important to me. Um, so I know it seems overwhelming, and that's because we don't know what everybody needs. So we tried to just touch on a little bit of everything. It's really not overwhelming when you look at it. When you get your kit, you just go, okay, I want to learn what I can do with the lavender. Or maybe you have something specific that you got the kit for. But let's just say you you got it to replace candles and because you wanted to find out more about the essential oils. So you're just going to take your lavender and start looking at reference guides. There are reference apps. Um, Googling it, Pinterest, whatever, to see what you can do with that. You're going to get an all-natural lo lotion base and just put a drop of lavender in it and see that it does actually help with the appearance of healthy skin. So that's how it starts. One oil or one thing at a time. That's all you have to do. Um, and it starts to work itself in just like any routine to where you don't even think twice about it. So don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it scare you away. Um, reach out to the person that invited you. Reach out to us, and we can talk in more detail about what it is you're needing, wanting, um, and go over in a little better detail. Yeah. So we went over five minutes, which really isn't bad, considering the fact that we were over going to the feelings kit, which made mm. us very nervous. So, um, so yeah, I think that uh, I appreciate you guys all hanging out with us. Um, I know some of you guys say the whole time, which is um, Amazing. kudos to you. Um, we We'd appreciate love you it. guys for that. Um, if, like she said, if you guys have any questions, you can email us, jaredamy at gmail.com. We'll put it in the comment, or we'll put it as a post. Yep, send us a private message if you'd like, um, or if you're local, swing by, and we'll be more than happy to walk you through any questions you have, and um, or let us know. We'll meet for coffee. Um, anytime we do a <laughs> consultation, just... Starbucks is on us. Uh, because I can buy it that way. Um, yeah, we'd be more than happy to meet with you guys. We can bring oils. We can bring the kit. Uh, let you see you guys. Uh, let you guys see everything with um, uh, for yourselves, and you can smell the oils yourselves. So, so, and check back in. The class will be up for at least one more day, maybe two. Um, but check back in definitely on Black Friday at uh, the very least, because uh, we'll be having a giveaway, and you do not have to be signed up with us to enter. Nope. You so, do not have to sign up. We just have, we might have a couple things we might have to do, but it'll be yep. easy. All, all right. right. You guys have a great night. Thank you. And we will talk to you guys all soon. All right.